Hey guys, it's me Kruku Cubing and Felix Zemdex recently tied the world record single which ties him with Steve Cho. Today we shall see what Felix did in that solve and what we can learn from him. This was the scramble that Felix got and in this scramble Felix solved the white cross. The white cross has the cross pieces nicely lined up. We have the green edge connected with the white center on the D layer and we have the orange edge in here. So this can go down to the D layer with an L move like that and the blue edge is in here. So once you put down the orange edge, the blue edge will come in here and you can insert the blue edge with an F prime. Our last cross edge is in here, the white and red. Once you put down the blue with an F prime, this red is going to swing to this position and you can insert this with an R prime. You also have an easy first pair which is these two, this one in here which is just a one move F12 pair like that. And Felix formed this F12 pair while making his cross. For his cross plus first F12 pair, Felix started by putting his orange uh, edge down to the D layer with an L move like that. And now we know that we have to do an F move for inserting this blue to the D layer. And we also know that this corner and this edge can be paired up with one move like that. Felix here did a U move like this so that once he does the F prime for inserting the blue to the D layer, this F12 pair will be paired up on the U layer just like that. And lastly, we have to insert this red and white piece which can be inserted like that and our cross is done and our first F12 pair is here. Now this first F12 pair needs to go in this back position. So if you were to adjust the cross with a D move, right, then you have to rotate and then insert it which is not really feasible when you can just do a wide U move which does the rotation simultaneously for you as you fix your cross. And then we have this F12 pair at the back in here, insert like this, R prime U R. And now we have three F12 pairs to choose from and all of them are in plain view. We have one in the back in here, one in the front in here and one in the other front slot in here. Now this F12 pair requires rotation where you have to take it out of the slot like this and then solve it. This is a terrible terrible case and is not really feasible for solving as your next F12 pair. And lastly we have this option remaining and this is the best F12 pair in this scenario and you can also solve this without doing rotation. So Felix here took this F12 pair out using L prime U L like that. We have the F12 pair in here now and these two can be set up into a three move insert by doing U R U prime R prime and then this is an easy three move setup R U R prime. And while we were solving this F12 pair, this F12 pair gets popped out to the U layer and goes to this back position. And this is the F12 pair that Felix solved next and this pair can be set up into a three move insert by rotating like this U2 R U prime R prime sets it up into a three move insert and this F12 pair needs to be solved in the front left slot so U prime L prime U prime L and then lastly we have this F12 pair R U prime R prime U R U prime R prime. For OLL we have this P-shape OLL case and P-shape OLL cases are good because they only take six moves to solve and for solving this P-shape OLL case you do a U and this is the algorithm for this and once you do this algorithm right Felix got a PL skip and the AUF is U2 and Felix here predicted the PL skip because he transitioned from the OL to PL without a pause and did the U2 stop the timer and got a time of 4.59 seconds. So the main takeaway from this solve is the inspection planning and we shall go over the inspection once more. This was the scramble and you can already see that you have an easy cross and you also have an easy first pair. So planning the cross plus one wasn't difficult. L L U F prime R prime Y D U. However, because you have an easy cross and you also have an easy first pair, you should be trying to look out for another pair which you can potentially solve as your second pair. In this case, we have this F12 pair right in here, right? Putting down the orange is not going to disturb this F12 pair at all. Once you do the U move, the corner will come in here and then F prime is going to put this in the bottom in here and this edge is going to come in here and the edge is only being affected by the U and R prime for inserting the red to the D layer. So this edge is going to come in here here and then here with red in front and then finally with the wide U this red is going to go to the side and this red is going to come in here and then directly to the bottom. So just during the inspection you can also plan out your second F12 pair in here and you can do the rest of the solve pause list because you already have planned two F12 pairs during the inspection. So if you do not find anything good then you can just start solving your so if you do not find a good second pair, then you can just solve the second pair that you plan during the inspection. And your solve will have a smooth fluid motion to it. 
For your last layer, start predicting how your OLL affects your PLL and also predict PLL skip cases so that you don't have a pause between OLL to PLL when you do get a PLL skip and can transition smoothly. This solve was a pretty straightforward solve. It was pretty straightforward CFOB, cross, F2L, OLL, and the only thing out of the ordinary was the PLL skip. Congratulations to Felix for tying the world record single, and thank you for watching this video. Give this video a like and also subscribe for more cubing content. I will see you in my next video. Take care guys, and bye.